cracking everyone, Jobber here, and I have before you a massive Yu-Gi-Oh card collection. This has, what, four Yu-Gi-Oh binders, a bunch of deck boxes, you got this whole thing over here full of hard case cards, you got a bunch of sleeve cards, another deck box over there, and this thing cost me over $5,000. We're going to be going through all this in today's video, and I want to let you guys know, look for your username in the comment section down below from our last video to see if you are lucky winner and we're doing a giveaway in today's video my giveaway is going to be some classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards i did some classic traps i figured it's time to do some classic spell cards so we have a original lob magic card version of monster reborn the magic card version of snatch steel one of the probably the most one of the most powerful Yu-Gi-Oh cards to ever come out literally just take your opponent's monster you can attack them with and everything i mean Super incredibly powerful. And then the magic card version of Delinquent Duo. You pay a thousand life points, randomly take one card from your opponent's hand, and your opponent randomly selects one card from their hand and goes to the graveyard. So basically, they just, they just lose two random cards from their hand for the cost of you play, paying this card a thousand life points. Super awesome. All you gotta do is be a subscriber. So hit that subscribe, hit that bell that's right next to you to get notified. Because the next step, I'll be announcing the winner of these three foil cards to one of you in my next video. So being notified is very useful. Comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card you see in today's video. Give this video a like. It really helps the algorithm and the growth of this channel. And without any further ado, let's get cracking. And oh yeah, follow me on Instagram. Say hi, and I will always say hi back. All right. So let's see what we have here. We have a bunch of deck boxes. And I figured, you know, let's go through everything. Got some beautiful binders in here. And we have some really, really awesome deck box full of cards. There's some really cool classic stuff in here. There is a really epic uh, misprint in this binder. And you guys are going to absolutely love it. <laughs> it's really, really cool. But we'll go through some of these deck boxes. We'll just bounce around a little bit here and there. Taking a look at what all is in here. So go through this a little bit quicker. Some random hidden arsenal. It's just some classic hidden arsenal cards. So... Really, really cool to be able to check a look at all these classic uh, cards in one giant video. There's some newer stuff in here as well, but for the most part, it's a lot of like older stuff. So it's pretty cool. All right, so <laughs> it was marked as played. We got some more cool secret rares here. And that looks like it is it. Yes. Here yeah, for that deck for that deck box. And we have this pile over here. So those came from actually a well, a couple of these things came from a few different people. These are all like Portuguese and they came from like the structure deck and I thought it was really cool. So I figured I should go through and it just add it all into the video. Why not? So there's a bunch of blue eyes white dragons in here, and then there was the these dark magicians, which I thought were really cool, which is like the majority of the reason why I wanted to go and buy these. And then there are some of the other structure deck cards in here as well. And there's a couple of actual like pack cards. So we have uh, the Wrinklish, which is really cool. The Flute of Summoning Dragon, which combos very well with the Lord of D. Oh, so Soul, uh, was it Soul Exchange? Yeah, Soul Exchange in there with our flutes. And then uh, let's go see the rest of our pile there. So we have some more soul exchanges and then moving into the Lord of D and I believe there are some a few little pack cards that were in this little pile as well. So the, the, everything is Portuguese. So we got these card destructions that are in here as well. I thought were really cool. Even though they are not the North American English, I mean, having these in Portuguese, I think it's really cool as well, since especially since everything is first edition. I uh, thought that was really, really neat. And uh, I'm not sure what exactly what I want to do with them, hold on to them, grade them, what, but I'll figure it out eventually. And now let's go and see, let's just, like I said, let's go bounce around, do some different things, deck boxes, binders, things like that. So here is one of the really nice binders right here. So we got this classic gold series. So this is the uh, first reprint of Crush Car coming from a SJC Ultra Rare. And then they made it the gold rare. I believe that's the first reprint of it. And we have the, this is kind of like a more common misprint. It has the ultra name and it's a secret rare. So it's pretty cool. You got this Gemini elf right here, which is misprinted. These are the original. So you got the tournament pack seven, tournament pack seven right there. Some supers, got some championship pack cards in here as well. Now the next page. This is that misprint I was talking about. 
says, uh, oh man, I don't know what's on the binder here. <laughs> Show it something on the, but Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare first edition, which is obviously not. That is a fusion, and there's actually is a uh, Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon in here. So that is a really cool card. I think the last one I saw sell on eBay was like nine hundred and fifty dollars. Pretty expensive card, honestly. So we have the Magician of Faith, we got the Magical Merchant in here, Hydra Gun, so a bunch of really awesome championship pack cards. We have some, uh, obviously, a couple of Ultimate Rare Judgment Dragons here, which are Turbo Pack. The Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode, which is Ghost in First Edition. We have the Angel 7 here, and then we have some Secret Rare First, oh, well, Secret Rare First Edition Gemini Elf, which is really, really cool. We have an Aaron, the Light Sworn Monk, which is Secret Rare First Edition. And then we have a Rainbow Neos here, which is Ghost Rare First Edition. And then we have a non-first, but still a absolute gorgeous Ghost Rare. Stardust Dragon, which is really, really cool. And moving over to the second part, well, our next page here. We've got some really cool classic Secret Rare First Edition cards here, which are really, really cool. we got the Gilladin Duo here, which is actually one of my all-time fa favorite fairies. I think it's really cool. I have never pulled one from a booster pack, but it's really, really awesome looking. they got the White Knight Dragon. Got a couple of those Secret Rare. we got an Ice Master there couple of those actually that are first edition very cool and going through the rest of these you got some secret or first edition false styles these things have been getting going up in price they were not expensive for the longest time and it seems like so many different cards this year have just gone way up i mean not only just Yu Gi Oh cards but steel product in general it has been getting outrageously expensive now we have the dragon eye secret air first edition the guardian of order secret air first edition which is cool and then we have two secret uh, two Seeker Rare and End of Anubis. One is Unlimited, one is First Edition. With the Plague Wolf there. And then we have a Secret Rare, First Edition Yada Gru. So one of my all-time favorite, it is my all-time favorite, Spirit Monster. Actually, uh, that's how I won my, what was it, Season 2 or something, Season 3 uh, trophy from playing over at your locals, basically being like the points leader they had back in the day. It's like, a, you get like a Millennium Puzzle and everything. It's really cool, but basically I won the majority of my, uh, majority of those tournaments with uh, Yada Garusa. I come, I did a pure Yada deck with it, and then I moved into like a, <laughs> a like zombie control Yada deck, which is actually really cool. Because you can creature swap off your Pyramid Turtle, and then uh, take uh, take their monster and attack over it. Like say you take their Gemini Elf, and then get a Spirit Reaper and take cards from their hand. So it was a really cool deck, actually. A lot of fun. So moving into our ultimate rares. So we got the Frostosaurus here, ultimate rare, which is really cool. The Charcoal and Panchi. We have a Chaos Emperor Dragon, ultimate rare, secret rare, Imperial Order, secret rare, Magic Cylinder. And we have secret rare, first edition, uh, the Judgment of Anubis there. And some more classic seekers up there. They are all first edition, which are beautiful. And then some ultimate rare, they all first? Two are first, Celestia's for the Light Sworn deck, which is very cool. A couple of Lila's for it as well. Ultimate Rare, Treeborn, Frog. Uh, Ryza, which is really, the, the Monarchs are just gorgeous Ultimate Rare. Then uh, probably my all-time favorite out of the Monarchs, Mobius the Frost Monarch. Probably because I ran that in uh, my first Yu-Gi-Oh deck that I participated at a regional with. And I ended up winning that regional when I was playing Mobius in it. That was a really awesome tribute monster. Then we have a Ultimate Rare First Edition Elemental Hero Bubble Man. We have Ult Ultimate Rare Doom Dozer. Arm Dragon Level 5. Ultimate Tyranno First Edition. I'm just naming off random cards. <laughs> Crystal Seer. My gosh, when that thing first came out, it was like a $75 card. Oh my gosh, crazy. And we have a Sacred Phoenix here, which is Ultimate Rare First Edition. Very cool. Actually, a pretty difficult Ultimate Rare to get, actually. Surprisingly, you don't really think about those kind of cards, but it is. And then going through here, we have the we have Silva here, Ultimate Rare. We got the King's Knight, uh, Mystic Swordsman Level 2. We have, what, a couple of Brows, one first, one not. And we have a Harpy's Pet was it Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition? Harpy's Queen Ultimate Rare First Edition? The Submarine Roy. We actually just pulled one of those on our video. Was it not? It was not first edition, but uh, really cool to be able to pull one of those for the first time. The Sage of Silence, Majestic Mecha Oka, Rose Warrior Revenge Ultimate Rare First Edition, Multiple Piece of Golem, Kokomuro Dragon. It's actually a really cool, like kind of like an anti meta ish card. Uh, Cyber Twin Dragon Ultimate Rare. So Ultimate Rare first on both those Cyber Dragon cards. Really cool. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. 
I mean, obviously, I mean, this car right here is pretty expensive. I want you here, everything in here. All these carts are so crazy expensive. Uh, Ultimate Rare First Edition, a Stardust Dragon, and we have a Thought Ruler Archfiend Ultimate Rare, and then the Red Dragon Archfiend, all these classics. So it's really cool. Do do doop. Those ones came from the same set. Really awesome. Some of the first, so what well, they were, the first synchros that came out, I believe. And we got like Colossal Fighter and stuff as well. And we have some ultimate rare spells. Moving up to a one that was really expensive for the longest time. Still pretty expensive, but not like crazy. But ultimate rare first edition future fusions used to be just outrageously expensive. Oh my gosh. The fifth hope ultimate rare first card of sanctity. The end, uh, the beginning of the end. Actually, I think it's really cool. When you pull this card as a full, you can't hardly even tell because the image is so dark. You can't even tell it as an ultimate rare. Uh, ectoplasma, we have a pulling the rug ultimate rare there. The Karma cut. Some other random traps. And we have some McDonald's foils here, which are really cool. I love opening up those McDonald's packs. I think it's really awesome. And we've got the the Cosmo Queen. And then the Millennium Shield. Those are the two ultras, the two most difficult ones to get. And then we have a Jump Ultra Rare Copycat. I think this is probably one of the coolest arts on a card. I think it's just really cool looking. I don't know <laughs> why I like it so much, but it's sweet. And then we have some of these. The, these uh, anniversary edition cards. These are I think these are pretty sweet. Open up one of those packs a long time ago on the channel. Oh my gosh, <laughs> super long time ago. Before they were really really expensive. You got the rest of them here. You got the alternate art Jinzo there. It's obviously if you've been watching the channel, you guys know that I am a sucker for Jinzo. I think Jinzo looks absolutely amazing. Love that card. And we have a fan favorite there, the super rare. First edition, Dark Magician Girl. We have a Dark Paladins, first edition, Polymerization, and we have Mirror Force, first edition, Starlight Road, the what is the Gold Sarcophagus, and then two Secret Rare, let's say three, two Secret Rare Thunder Kings there. And then we have a Jump Ultra Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and we have the SP1 Cyber Harpy Lady, which is pretty cool. And we have some of these ones. These are like, the, the whole card is like Hobby League. These are actually pretty interesting. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I mean, this you guys might be, you might be new to the, new to Yu-Gi-Oh and whatnot. These are, these came out a really long time ago. But we've had a really difficult time. So it's just literally just all Hobby League. The entire card. It's pretty interesting because it's not like just a solid foil where it's like, you'll see some of them like the Hobby League, like Exiled Force and whatnot, where it's like, it just look, it's just, you know, it's Hobby League, but it's like an ultra rare. This is just like its own thing. It's the whole card is just solid Hobby League, which is really, really cool, I think. Alrighty, so let's move over here to our next. We have another deck box here and we have three more binders to go through and uh, yeah, let's go through all this. Obviously we're gonna try, to, we're gonna do all this in today's video, checking out all these cool cards. As you can see, that, that binder right there had a lot of uh, really cool classics for all you old school fans and myself. And a lot of these cards in general here, there's a, like I said, there's a mix of like some of the newer cards, but like, I mean, even if you're going through here, you can see like some of these cards aren't like super expensive, but they're old. <laughs> like even these Allure, these uh, Allure Darkness is super rare, uh, are uh, pretty old. Was that the original? Yep, original first edition Dark World Dealing Super Rare. So yeah, all the, a lot of these cards are pretty pretty old school. I think it's pretty neat. One for one Super Rare. I think they're still pretty expensive. What are they like? 10, 12 bucks each? Crazy. Really good card. That card has been getting a play so it's like old school like Frog Monarch. You'll be able to pitch and then get basically get Treeborn Frog onto the board. Then there did that deck was just cruising from that point. Be able to distribute it off for a monarch, and they just—it was just one of those old-school tempo decks. Just be able to just slowly acquire advantage and keep going. The Metal Reflex Slime is the original Ultra Rare. That card comes Ultimate Rare as well, and it looks beautiful. And we have a couple Ultra Rare Ring of Destructions here. Dark Magic Ritual. Move this over here, and move into this next deck box. I think there's some cards in here. I believe. Feels like. Feels like oh, there's some empty sleeves. And then there's cards as well. So we have the Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragons. We got three of those. Super. We have a bunch of... Well, there's a bunch of cool Red Eyes cards there. Oh, a Totem Dragon Super Rare. Is there a, we got one first edition as well. Those things are pretty hard to come by. I don't see them very often. And we have a, a DB2, a couple of those. Tune Table of Contents. What are we going into here? It looks like we have a Exodia deck. 
cool. This is like the classic Exodia FTK deck. They had the Royal Magical Library and whatnot. They had, they did this, and they also did another variant where it was with a Magical Explosion, just filling up your grave with a bunch of spell cards and then just burning your opponent for a game with that trap card. So pretty cool. Different variants of the deck. I actually built the Exodia FTK deck way back in the day for my friend, and he uh, won a few locals over here with it. It's pretty cool, especially when people aren't prepared for it. All right, um, let's see. I mean, I should just keep going through these deck boxes, and then we'll go over to these binders and just knock them all out. These metal deck boxes are pretty cool. These <laughs> things are heavy duty. Oh my gosh, you want to protect your deck. Those things, things can uh, take a drop and just barely even put a nick in the corner. I've seen some tumbles. Uh, I got an ultra rare scrap dragon here. And let's see what else. Some, actually, all these promos are pretty old. And what are these? Spanish? Yeah, two Spanish first edition pot of greeds. Nice. Spanish first edition Exodia head. I don't know why I'm not remembering these as one of the <laughs> it's one of the cards, but uh, this is cool. Some Spanish first edition cards in here. This is really awesome. I like this a lot. Really cool. Right on. The Curse of Dragon there, the Exodia Limbs, another Raigeki, very nice. Someone opened up a, a Spanish, some Spanish first edition booster packs at least. I know I have. Oh my gosh, those booster boxes used to be, used to be reasonably priced, and now they are just outrageously expensive right now, along with all the other sealed products, it seems super crazy. Okay, um, let's move over to this next tin. We, uh, well, next deck box. We have one more deck box, and then we have this big tin over here that has a bunch of cards in hard cases. And there's some pretty cool, pretty cool cards in there, actually. I think you guys will enjoy that one. We got the marshmallow. When this card first came out, I think it was a $55 secret rare when it first dropped. <laughs> Not even making that up. That was a, a real prize. People are even asking even more than that on eBay. They were asking like $75 back in the day. Oh, it was absolutely crazy, but the local price, people were asking like $50, $55, and we're getting like $60 and $60, $70 in trade for it. So we got the Ultra Rare Blast Sphere. This was a reprint. It came as a Ultra Jump promo originally. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that is right. I believe that, and I believe that one right there is the original reprint of it. So pretty cool. We got a Secret Rare Tradition of Black Chaos there. Very nice. Okay. All right, move that deck box out of our way and move over to our last deck box. Last deck box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Move this deck box over here. Make a little bit of room. Oh, Armageddon Knight, ooh, nice. Bazoo the Soul Eater used to be a uh, key component for an old school Bazoo return. Actually ended up winning I know it won at least one event. Uh, SJC, actually, way back in the show and jump before they moved him over to YCS. is pretty cool. I tried it out myself. I personally stuck with my Chaos Sorcerer Return deck that I uh, was the originator of. Pretty cool. We have the Krez Super Rare, we have the Level Eater Super Rare, and we have the Lord of D. Very cool. Makro the Destructor, that is a super DB1. Very nice. And we have uh, some Necro Faces there, which are beautiful. And a couple more. Man, playset more of these. My gosh, we got a lot of these in today's video. What, six so far, I believe, at least. The Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon Super Rare. Man, it's like those cards, you're looking for them and you can't find them. And then when you're like, eh, you know, I'm not really going to need them right now. You get like an abundance of them. It's... It's crazy. Alrighty, so uh, these are some of the hard case cards in this box. So we have a my very first <laughs> Ghost Rare Wing Dragon of Raw. Not from a lack of trying to pull one, I just couldn't do it. And then we have a GB1, the Wing Dragon of Raw here, which is ultra rare. And uh, actually, I actually haven't even taken it out of the case. He was telling me this card is absolutely pristine condition, so I'm excited about that. And we have a Collector's Rare Unlimited. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End, which is really beautiful. And then we have a Collector's Rare Pot of Extravagance, which is also unlimited. Still very, very nice. And then we have the Toon Kingdom here, Ultimate Rare, came out of the new OTS 14, along with the Super Pulmerization. Put that up. And then, 
Let's go through some of these. I don't think he put anything on the back. Okay. Yeah, he he, <laughs> he ended up pricing a lot of these cards. So forgive the prices. I I didn't do it. I don't know. Eh, it looks like a lot of the actually quite a few of the prices here are pretty accurate. Hey, prices are so <laughs> so crazy. I can't even keep up with the prices of cards. It's a uh, it has been insane. I swear. I go and I I say a price of something, and then like the next day, it is just absolutely different. It's uh yeah, it's been something. I swear, it changes by the day. I don't think these are forty dollars anymore. <laughs> this thing, that card was was really really expensive. It's still a pretty expensive card. Very powerful card. One of the most probably the strongest fusion to be in the game actually. This car is really cool. A two Black Luster Soldier. I believe that's the first one I've actually owned. Opened up a lot of booster packs. Never ever pulled one, so pretty difficult to get. And we have a Secret Rare Invader of Darkness. I actually ended up pulling one of those not that long ago. And we have a Secret PSV. Jinzo here, which obviously I am a sucker for. Love that. Trihorn Dragon. And then we have a beautiful... L.O.B. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Gosh, I love this card so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's like two of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever. Boom. Jinzo and the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And I am such a big fan of like so many cards, but yeah. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. And then of course the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon's way up there. Pulled one of those in one of our videos. Like a week or two ago. Really good. <laughs> Super excited about that. I, just, I am going to be keeping that forever. Yeah, these ones are beautiful. And let's see if there's anything else. It looks, feels like there is another card here. What do we have? Oh, nice. The Egyptian God Slime. This card uh, actually more expensive now than it was when it first dropped. Okay, now let's move over to the binders. I guess I'll move... Hmm. I have a good spot. There we go. That will work. So this binder right here is majority full, I believe, just gold rare cards. She has uh, the GLD1. So this is the original gold series that came out that had uh, the Crush Card Virus in it. Pretty cool. As you all can see, I'll try to get a little, a little extra view here. That oh, looks like a pretty good angle actually. So you guys can see everything. Got the gold rare Jinzo right there, which is beautiful. Gold rare Thunder King. They have some really incredible reprints. This is one of the most popular gold series came out. Then we got the GLD4s here. We got the Tune Table of Contents. That card was been played in so many different decks. OTK decks and all sorts of different decks. Got some Solemn Judgment playset here. Got the the Finish with Wing Blast. Got a bunch of those. That card was a big card. It comboed with Ryza. It's basically just putting your opponents, making them draw the same card over and over and over again <laughs> until they lost, basically. Got Hobby League, uh, some Hobby League gadgets here. Got the green, red. I'm not seeing any yellow. Uh, the Neospacing Ground Mullet up here. And we have the Giant Rat, which is beautiful. I should get a little bit more of a close up here on some of these cards. Hobby League Reinforces of the Army. Some of these cards, some of these Hobby League cards are just really expensive right now. We got the Toon Dark Magician Girl here. We have the Dark Magician Girl. We have a <laughs> almost two full pages of gores. I too am a big fan of gores. Ran that in uh, all kinds of different decks, including Light Sworn. Light Sworn, it was uh, it worked really well with, especially with uh, trying to like play with Chaos Sorcerer and all these different Chaos variants of the deck. Oh, there, I think there might have been enough. Oh, close. <laughs> Would have been close to two pages full. And those breakers are all original. MFC, some Magician's Force, really nice. Caius, Vampire Lord, there's the, the man himself. I based my one of my Yada builds back in the day around. Pretty cool. Magic Jammer, this is not a retro pack. This is the DB1 Ultra Rare Regeki. Still 
really difficult to get. DB1 Ultra Monster Reborn. Got some Super Cyber Dragons here. Masker Shrix, some really nice classic stuff in here. And some Raikus. We got the DLG1 Super Rare Sangin, which are pretty sweet. And let's see, got some more Monarchs. Zalborg in there. Got some more Light Sworn Love. Graceful Charity, Scapegoats, Super Regeki, Sword of Revealing Light, Heavy Storm, some nice classic staples in here. Really cool. And we have the Gladiator Bees Gazaris. We got a few of those. This is obviously a big staple for the Gladiator Bees deck. And then uh, Heraclinos was another one, big uh, a big card, one of the, like basically their big boss monster of the deck, essentially. I think that might be it for that binder, and that is it for that binder. Let's move over to ooh, our next. It's actually a really cool looking binder. You got the Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl on it. I think the binder looks beautiful. And then we're going to move to these Anniversary Pack cards here, which is all of them. The Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Summon Skull. we got the Celtic Guardian. And then Jinzo yet again. Oh, there's two in this video. <laughs> the Jinzo collection grows stronger. And then we have some of the tin foils here, which is really cool. And the BPT-009 Secret Rare. Blue Eyes White Dragon, and so there's the 003, which is out there. That was the second print of it. Pretty cool. And this is uh, BPT-001 Secret Rare Dark Magician. Actually pretty expensive. Yes. Not too bad of a reflection here. That's a nice little angle. <laughs> and then we have more. Insect Queen here, the, the Sacred Phoenix yet again, the Secret Rare, Tin, Dark Magician Girl, Cyber Dragon, Relinquish, Blade Knight, Crystal Beast, Sapphire, Pegasus. Just open up one of those tins not that long ago, pretty cool. And we got some, uh, got some cool Dark Magician love here. Some more Dark Magician love, and some Dark Magician girl love. I know a lot of you out there are huge fans of the Spellcasters, and how can you not be? And then we have some Dark Magician of Chaos is here, and then we have all these Blue Eyes White Dragons. <laughs> this one, uh, this one got a <laughs> some custom work done to them. Actually a pretty cool uh, image of it, honestly. Pretty cool. All right, and then moving over to more of these Blue Eyes White Dragon. This Ultimate Rare one is beautiful. And we have these Structure Deck Blue Eyes. Some Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. You got the Dragon Master Knight down there, which also has the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon image on it. Yo, I am a big fan of that. Another custom art. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Doing his Neutron Blast attack. We got some red eyes black dragons here. Definitely one of those big fan favorite binders. This is cool. And let's see, that's it for that binder. We have the last binder to go, everybody. Let's pop it open. Here we go. And here we go. Some more fan favorite card. All right, so a slice for the sky dragon. Some more Slifer love here. Then we have the Oblis the Tormentor, which is my personal favorite god card. Probably because it was in Kaiba's deck, and the first showing of Oblis was absolutely godly. <laughs> I loved it so much. And we have the Wing Dragon of Ra. And now we move it over to some Sacred Beasts. It's just really cool. Three of each of them there. Oh, nice. The, the classic tin ones as well. And these are really cool. These were shown in the original series, which I thought was really awesome. 
And this one obviously is pretty godly. Takes Urea, Hammond, Raviol. <laughs> it's pretty sweet fusion right there. And then we have some Exodia Love. The whole full set of Exodia in it. Some tokens. You got the, what is this one? The legendary Exodia here. All Exodia in one card. It's pretty sweet. And I think that that's it, everybody. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoy checking out all these cool, classic, old school, and some of the newer stuff in here as well. I know this one right here was definitely targeted towards the, the you guys, you big old school fans out there. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card you saw in today's video. So you have a chance of winning these three classic spell cards and i will announce the winner in the comments of the next video so hit that bell follow me on instagram say hi and i will always say hi back and jobber here is signing out